Hi guys, and welcome to a new episode of A Dog Soul. I'm Anita. I'm a professional dog trainer with Brave Dog Training Online. I help you build a trusting relationship with your dog so you can overcome fear and reactivity. And today we're going to talk about why dogs cannot take food outside sometimes. So have fun! So, Sammy is actually a dog. So, Sammy is my dog. For those of you who are new to the show, Sammy is a dog who once in a while just cannot take food outside. And that always goes for toys as well. So, I thought, well, let's make a video about that and let's make a podcast about that because it's not uncommon. Especially if you have a dog who is not that sure of himself, a little insecure or even fearful, then eating outside could be an issue for him. And the reason behind this is because we, as well as our dogs, are biologically prepared to shut down every unnecessary function if there is imminent danger and of course that goes for eating and digestion and stuff like that so yes we cannot take food or we cannot eat when we are expecting something bad to happen or a situation to happen where we need to get away fast or something like that and the same thing happens with toys because playing is something that requires letting go just being loose and being relaxed and having fun and stuff like that and if our dogs are just very tense because they expect something bad to happen um, and they kind of prepare for running away whenever it's required and of course in that state they cannot play it's not possible and yes some dogs if they just tense up a little bit and you offer them play it's a sign for them to see oh everything's okay my mommy is playful so that's fine and they relax and they can play but other dogs don't make that connection and for sammy he has so many reasons why he gets tense and one of them for example is he needs to go to the toilet and whenever he has to poop it's very stressful for him i don't know why i haven't figured that out and it hasn't gotten better over six years so he has no issue with digestion well he has an issue with digestion but it's the pancreas so it starts earlier than when he goes to the toilet and of course he gets meds for that so and it wasn't the reason because he has the issue since i have known him and he has the pancreas problem since last year so it cannot be the reason for his uncomfortable feelings when he has to go to the toilet but what could be the reason is because the grass where he can go to the toilet has to be a specific way it has to be completely dry but not pokey it has to be free from insects at least on first sight and i don't know i think a bunch of other stuff that he expects from grass <laughs> And I know that because he just won't step in every grass. He just checks it out very, very thoroughly before he sets foot in that. And whenever he sees an insect, he's gone. And some small insects are okay. Really, really, really small. But everything from the size of an ant is absolutely unacceptable for him. 
And yes, I know that's weird, but it's him. Okay. And that also means that whenever he has to go to the toilet, he cannot take food. And I know that. And so I use other reinforcers and other rewards to just tell him that I think he's great and what he's doing is great and stuff like that. But it is a stress issue. And yes, there are stress eaters, even in dogs. So there are some dogs who start eating when they are stressed, but that's kind of obvious. So you see your dog um, inhaling food very, very, very fast and faster than normal and a lot more food than normal, then you know, okay, this is the case. But for those dogs who cannot take food once in a while, you should always keep in mind that this could be a stress issue. Well, it's almost always a stress issue. There are some dogs who kind of aren't that interested in food, but it's always the overall picture. So do not just take one sign from your dog. Always consider the big picture. Always Look at the whole dog, always look at the whole behavior and see what your dog is actually dealing with right now. And if you have a dog who cannot take food and you have noticed that the stress level is just too high, then of course the way to go is to get the stress level down and see where your dog is still fine eating and is still fine doing stuff with you and is loose and has a good time and that's where you can start whatever you want to do with him. And of course if you need help with getting the stress level down and getting your dog to participate in whatever you want to do with him then book yourself a free call. Let's see how I can help you and I would love to meet you and your dog. And of course if you have any questions you could also write me an email or write it down in the comments. And don't forget to rate and review the show if you liked it and share it with your friends. That said, I wish you an amazing time with your dog and hopefully a very low stress level so that excitement can be something fun. We'll see each other next time. Bye.